Hi members, trishleisurelifestyle.com, Facebook Live here. Uh, day 51 of the 90 day health and wellbeing journey, uh, health, health and wellbeing challenge. And um, my gym today is an outdoors gym. And you can see that, well, I don't know whether you can see, but I'm sweating and we're, we're building up a bit of a sweat. And I'm just gonna turn around and just show you the mulch here that we've actually moved and still continue to move and that pile was huge yesterday so uh let me just let me just swing around here i'll just move out to the front and there's dad working and uh we've been just slowly but surely moving and shifting that pile of mulch hi rob great to see that you're watching so um as most of you know this is sort of like a I don't know, vacation home, if you could sort of call it that. It's sort of my second home. Um, that one next door is uh, the house that I come to two to three months of the year. Uh, two years ago, no, three years ago, I came for five months. And this one here, mum and dad come to the um, same amount of time, about three months of the year. And why we come here is it's so incredibly centrally located to Europe, um, and uh, other places in America, it's very cool. And we're close to uh, an airport, both international airports as well. So it, it's pretty awesome. Um, so moving mulch, uh, doing the workout. So it's not gonna be at the gym today uh, because I have burnt more calories and more sweat by doing this today. And I'm just gonna show you exactly. Hey Rob, how are you going? Another Davies in the background. <laughs> John Davies, <laughs> my dad. Um, so uh, my ears blocked too, I think from all the workout that we've been doing, it is so humid. I think it's 90% humidity today. Um, and it's sort of early, reasonably early in the morning here. Hi, Louisa, how are you? <laughs> Great to see you. So let, let me give you a little tour of what we've actually laid here. So I should show you the front as well but we've barrowed all of this mulch here as I swing around here. Great blessing to those that honor their parents and so preciously take care of them. How precious, thank you so much. That's a wonderful comment. Thank you. Um, here, so they love their garden. And so, and what we want to do, the whole aim of this is to get this prepared, that we're not even gonna get the full benefit of this because we'll be traveling back to Australia on the 14th. But the whole idea is to, to manage and keep the garden down or the weeds down so that, um, you know, you don't come back here to a pile of weeds next year. So you sort of have to maintain it and make sure that everything's right for when you come back. Keeping in mind, we're in snow country as well. So good chances are there's going to be feet of snow that's gonna land on top of this garden. And uh, yeah, so, but, but the whole idea is really just to maintain the weeds, keep the weeds down. And uh, all we've got to go now is this section here, which I'll show you here. Uh, we've actually, what you call round up, weed killer whatever, sort of the weeds along the side here. Uh, Dad's there with the barra. So we've only got this section here to go now. And uh, what I'll do is I'll walk you around to the front as well and just show you what we've barrowed around there as well. So here's my place next door. So I could go on actually, the story about these two houses coming available is incredible to be honest. They became available at two very different times. I purchased mine the end of, not last year, the year before, I closed on this house next door and mum and dad purchased this one, I think about four years ago, five years ago. And um, it was incredible. I mean, there's, it's very rare that you sort of can secure two houses next door to each other. So it was that the universe was really delivering something very powerful when this happened. And I, as most of you know, I'm a real estate investor in this area too. And um, I rehabbed one just around the corner here and I was staying in that for one year. And um, the timing of that, when that finished and then I sold that and then ended up here, the timing was just incredibly perfect. So, 
sometimes we manifest and we don't even really truly know that we're actually manifesting um, and it's not until reflection that you actually look back and you say to yourself wow the timing of that was perfect that was incredible how that happened how that evolved and how that managed to work out for us um, so it's pretty good so let me just take you to these garden beds here and show you exactly you know it's funny we talk about the laptop lifestyle right here I am shoveling mulch right <laughs> shoveling mulch um, I'm not in a beach somewhere with my feet up <laughs> in a deck chair sipping pina coladas um, and you know what uh, this is life right this is this is life and what what the laptop lifestyle does give you gives you choices and if this is what you want to do this is what you do right um, so I, I think it's all about giving a real true perspective and a real true reflection on choices and options that people might want to take rather than traveling and I mean yeah we all want to travel and part of my process is traveling because I do it I mean I spend three four months of the year here in America and the rest of the time in Australia you can see how that front garden bed's all been done um, so it is you, you are given choices however again I talked about this in a previous video when you're asked to put down and jot down your ideal day shoveling barrows of mulch isn't part of that ideal day right <laughs> it's not <laughs> Like I said, working out at the gym is not part of your ideal day, right? Working out every day, going through pain, going through struggle, going through sweat is not part of your ideal day. However, the outcomes are. When you wrote down those oak outcomes in that, in, that out, in that ideal day, it was all about creating the lifestyle, leading the lifestyle that you want to lead. And to do that, you have to do things. You have to take action. You have to put in the sweat, which I'm doing right now, and you have to put in the work. And it leads towards having that perfect and ideal day. So by doing this, doing the work, it allows me the ability to enjoy the pleasures of that for my ideal day. Hi Fatma, great to see you here trust the the true essence of a laptop lifestyle gardening is more it's therapeutic that's it than sitting at the pool all day and you work and it's a sense of achievement because what we do is we barrow it and to actually see parts of this garden get completed is really really powerful so um, you know it's quite a sense of achievement and now mum and dad can travel back to well it's actually dad because mum's back home still she's still recovering but doing really really well uh, dad had to come back really and just do this you know just check in and maintain so that next year they can next year they can come back and have the pleasure of this and also travel as well just really position themselves from here and then travel but to, to actually see all this done now is really powerful and uh, not only that it's part of the health and well-being challenge which I am part of now and uh, day 51 and I weigh in tomorrow and I pretty much guarantee that there will be um, an adjustment on those scales for sure because the amount of work that we've done here in the last two days has been incredible. I think I've burnt more calories here than I'd ever do at the gym. So um, that's my share. My ears completely blocked. So I'm most probably yelling at you on the microphone. <laughs> um, and uh, this is a gorgeous place here. You can just sit down on this rock, right? There's a big rock right here. And I'm gonna sit right here and have a rest while dad still barrows. But the sweat is just pouring off him. Uh, he's 71 and he's just a worker, right? He just works, works, works. He just keeps going. And uh, I was nearly passing out at one stage with the humidity and uh, the barrowing. But uh, yeah, still keep going. And uh, we're gonna, uh, reward ourselves with a lunch a nice lunch today so that's my share everyone day 51 90 day health and well-being challenge if you find this video on YouTube press that subscribe button and uh, I'm going to share more of my journey short share more of the laptop lifestyle um, and uh, I'll check in with you guys again very very soon bye everyone bye Fatma bye